All right, welcome back to Jump One Half. Let's jump right in with Amphibious Species. I'm assuming this is the way to the blue switch, so I think this is the direction that I want to go first. Let's grab myself Fire Flower. Oh yeah, and I have my cool Siren power up here. Whoops. Well, that was a goof. I forgot there were ice physics, so <laughs> I... I did not react correctly to that. Let's grab this so that I can get my fire back. Just jump over this fish. I guess I'll just jump over these two. Alright, let's not go craning off into the lava this time. This is making a huge difference so far. Being able to fry enemies above me is pretty huge, actually. And barely having to aim at all. The only difference is that I can't just spew fireballs all over the place. Oh, that was close. I was busy talking way too much there. Jump over here. Alright, is this a midpoint? Yeah, there we go. And there's no dragon coin, so I'm not going to have to repeat that, I think. Whoa. Help. I didn't have time to react to that. Um... Alright, let's use the fish as my platforms for a moment. Big exclamation mark. Okay, not sure exactly how I was supposed to get through there. I guess I needed to go faster. Dang it. <laughs> the mushroom messed me up. No clue how to get through there. <laughs> I thought I just needed to go faster, but that wasn't the case. Bounce over that. Go through you guys. Let's duck jump to make it a little bit easier. That just barely worked, but just barely is enough. Whoops. Alright, you go die, please. Alright, let's get up here so that I can just jump over them. The porky puffers are so weird on the scrolling area. There we go. Just barely managed to slip under them. I still have momentum coming out of the pipe for some reason. Who even cares about the gold tape? That doesn't seem worth it. Landing on a one-tiled dolphin with ice physics, when I don't have to, I, I'll say no to that. <laughs> well, thanks for the level, Lol Yoshi. The best level Everest. <laughs> I assume we're going to be doing some mountain climbing in this one. Yep, this already looks pretty vertical. Well, I hope I didn't need to rush there, because now I'm not going to make it. There we go. This is not ratchet scrolling like that other level was. But we have even more ice physics, which I suppose could be expected from the ice world. Dang it, I was trying to avoid the saw because I knew I got the timing wrong there, but I just went flying off into the other guy. Okay, I need that. I was thinking it was going to be a one-up or something. Whoops. Lots of silly hits today. Whoa, I almost just ran straight into that. Dang, it's actually hard to stop in the right place there. There we go. Got in and out that time even the, despite the fact that I was big. This one's really easy. It's way easier than the Saw one earlier. Usually the difficulty ramps up, but there it kind of ramped down. Oh, okay. So I gotta get my timing right and hopefully actually hit the block. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Another thwomp. Well, let's not fall back down there. <laughs> the thwomps are all about the dragon coins in this level. I guess I need to hit that vine too. I'm assuming the way to do this is to come up from above. Yeah, with the vine there, it's a lot easier. Well, I guess I probably need a bit more momentum than that. Lots of time to react to everything in this level, which is pretty good. I tend to do a lot better uh, when that's the case. Okay, I just need to hit my head on that. Wait a cycle, because we've got plenty of time. Oh, okay. Now I just need to hit this vine. And I need this one too. Whoa, don't grab that dragon coin. I want the dragon coin. Whoa. 
that guy was just coming straight from my face, and I was like, wow, surprise thump, but no, he had plenty of opportunity. Hopefully there aren't any more difficult vines that I uh, will eat a dragon coin. There we go. I got three dragon coins, so I think I'm probably good on that front so far. I just want to make sure that no vines eat a dragon coin in this half of the level, and because otherwise I pretty much need to kill myself. <laughs> Alright, just go back to the other side. Alright, let's time this correctly. There we go. Oh, this is interesting. I probably could have gone there. I can definitely go here. Another dragon coin behind the thwomp. <laughs> That's kind of the theme for this level. There we go. Oh, get off, get off. <laughs> that time I had to react quickly. Go straight down. Nope, no reaction that time. That worked out perfectly. Grab this mushroom. Just gotta spin jump. Do it again. Uh, whoa. Okay, that times itself perfectly, so no need to worry about that. Okay, let's just get down here, spin jump over this guy, and... Wow, okay, I wasn't expecting the little Sparky down there. So I guess the idea is we got to the top of the mountain, and now we're climbing down the mountain again. <laughs> Dang it. I wasn't really... I did not react quickly enough to that. Okay, that was pretty easy. Okay, just gotta wait here, stall out for as long as possible, and then... Is this a dragon coin? Yes, it is. The good news is, as long as I collect it, they stay collected, but I'd rather not die because I'm probably right next to the end. Okay, just had to wait a while for the timing of my swimming and the platform to line up. Oh, apparently there's a moon. Well, I did not see any way to get it, so... whatever. I didn't see any pipes at all, I don't think, all throughout the entire level, so I don't really know how I was supposed to get to that. Alright, good progress so far. Let's see how this level goes. Ethereal Ascending by a Terraformer, just for the extra alliteration. I just did a lot of ascending, so uh, I guess we're just going to be climbing even higher now. Oh, it's a sky level. Oh, there's the first dragon coin, right off the bat. Wouldn't matter much if I missed it, I guess. I could just, you know, start the level over again and that would be that. Okay, I'll just stomp the first one of you, jump over you. Yeah, this is definitely very Super Mario Bros. 3-ish, and that didn't work. I wasn't supposed to stand on that platform uh, for as long as I did, but... <sighs> yeah, it turns out trying to place that platform in a very specific spot and time the jump at the same time is not that easy. <laughs> Uh, what's in here? Oh, it's a feather. I'll certainly take that, especially in this level. Having a little bit more time to react could be a very nice thing. There, it definitely helped. And now I'm... Oh, I actually can't bounce on you. Okay, I guess we're... There's no midpoint in this level. I probably just have to go straight to the end. Dang it. Wow, I didn't. I really wanted that mushroom back, but I guess I'm not gonna get it now. Whoa, almost just went headlong into that guy. Guess it doesn't matter if I got the mushroom or not. I wouldn't have made that if I had the mushroom. <laughs> so, I'm exactly the same size as I would have been all along. Okay, that level was definitely no joke since, uh,. A lot of mistakes that you can make are going to be instant death. But it looks like it went out right in the end. Not as dire talks. So is this just going to be an easy collectathon level then? Okay, 
uh, wait for you to fall, I guess. Let's just ascend for the moment. Boy, this is certainly looking like a maze so far. There's also dragon coins here, so that makes me very scared. <laughs> I feel like it's I'm going to have to actually do some searching to find them here. Oh, I guess I've got to go back. Alright, I've got to keep pace with this platform going back so that I can get over here. I want to say I wouldn't be surprised if I could make that jump regardless, but... Um, dang it. I was hoping to bounce on you. Alright, grab this. I'm not sure if I'm missing anything so far. Alright, kill you. Might as well take another one for the road. Don't know if it'll be useful, but... Nah, it doesn't look like it. Let's just grab another one. Take that into you. Ugh, dang it, I did not get that. <laughs> Alright, let's keep this platform on the screen, and I think I can just go forward as fast as I want to now. And it'll go back up, so yeah, not too hard to get when I know I have to rush. Okay, just go through here. Under the pokey. Not sure where the platform's gonna go now. Okay. Dang it, I didn't realize that the blue thing was solid. Well, I'm just gonna keep going. I wanna keep pace with that platform. It's more important than keeping my hits. Oh, that was... That was not correctly done. Like this. I was thinking I had to do something with the blue block. I didn't think it... Well, I guess I need to throw it into that Koopa. That would have been the correct play, but... That's a cool use of the red switch block, and also I got a 1-up mushroom. I wonder if that's a uh, midpoint. I wonder why they'd use that one, considering... Whoops. I just created an extra obstacle for myself. Great job! Dang it. I didn't have an opportunity to jump. Okay, just one more. It says to go left or right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, the other pokey would have been moved by the platform. Okay, so now we just wait here. One pokey just gets stuck, I think. And the other one gets moved that way, and then I just need to rush it at the right moment. There we go. By right moment, I mean basically any moment. Alright, so here again... Well, I didn't do a very good job of it that time. There weren't any large spaces there. Weird obstacle illusions going on. Just don't panic, just do one jump clean through the shells. That's not too bad at all. Now I have a real midpoint. Again, it's kind of weird to have the fake midpoint before the real one, but... Okay. Just bounce off the Koopa. Oh, I've got red blocks down there, so it's not even really that dangerous. Alright, see ya, Chuck. And there we go. There's the last dragon coin. Do I just go through here to get it? Okay, now I'm on this side. So there's a puzzle over here. Hopefully it's not too dangerous. Okay, so I guess I'm just supposed to key jump. Well, I'm just going to go back up for a second. Okay, so... It says key there. Why, though? What is this way? Whoops. Oh, well, I guess I can't go back now. Key there. So I guess I'm carting the key this way to find something else. 
Well, I don't have the key right now, so let's correct that one first of all. Okay, so that's pretty easy. I just, I just need to throw it sideways instead of trying to grab it on the vine. So now we deposit it here, and the conveyors will move it so that when I continue onwards, I get my key back. Oh, I've got to beat it to it, too. Alright, well, regardless. Okay, so if... My guess is that I'm going to need to go fast here, too, so... Let's go with the spring. Oh gosh, dang it. Alright, let's just do this the same as before. Just barely lure the chuck over. Wait a second, where are the platforms? Wait, how am I supposed to actually use this red block if the platforms despawn? We're kind of dangerous, to be honest. Wait a sec, all I need to do is run to the left and... Well, I overcomplicated that dramatically. <laughs> Just walk left and then right. That's the puzzle. <laughs> I figured it out. And we're just supposed to throw the key up here. Whoa, yeah, there it is again. Hello, key. Now we go back down again. And not die, hopefully. <laughs> key just falls from the sky randomly. It's not like it hits the red block. I mean, it's not like it's going to fall down with the red blocks there, so there's no rush for the first one. But here I gotta be kind of fast. Okay, so in that case, what is this spring for? It says I want to bring the key with me. But why do I need a spring? I mean, I could... I guess I could just bring the spring through the same way as the key, but... I don't think I need it down here, do I? Oh, okay. Yeah, I need it. I do need it down here. So I guess I should just drop it through this block. That would be the easiest way to do it. I don't think it'll fall off or anything. Whoa! Crazy spring jump, apparently. Alright. Throw it up at the left side, give myself as much time as I possibly can. Ah, dang it, the spring fell off, I suppose. I thought it wouldn't. Okay, so I guess I have to time it. So drop it like there or something. And then it falls through. Then we go up here. And then we grab the key too. There's plenty of time this time, so it's really just the timing puzzle. Oh, well, if you want to go up there, be my guest. Alright. There we go. Um... What am I trying to do here? Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter much. I already have all the dragon coins, so this is just a gold tape puzzle, presumably. Or maybe there's a moon back there? Yeah, it looks like there's a moon. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I had to get up there while big, and then spit jump into it. Oh, huh. So this doesn't bring me to the blue switch. This was quite a large detour, just to get back to the place I would have normally gotten to. <laughs> Most useless secret exit in the game, probably. <laughs> no wait, this is the way the secret exit sent me, so the secret exit allows me to skip all those levels. That makes a bit more sense. Error graphics. Well, hopefully the graphics are not broken and yump style in this level. They clearly aren't. They look pretty cool, actually. Nothing in that pipe. Oh, this isn't very hard to get. <laughs> Just killed the Chuck so he isn't in my way later. I probably shouldn't feed the Yoshi over the hole. No, that was no good. And well, I have to try to avoid feeding him. Just close enough. That was 
Oh, wow, I need to be on the ball a little bit more than I was. I, I did not realize that I had 20 seconds left. There's another one. Alright, that got me to the midpoint. Not sure where I'm gonna get another Yoshi from when I die, but... Alright, just grab that. Do a Yoshi hop, make sure he goes to the right side. Um, where am I going? Oh, I think I needed to hop off Yoshi there. Now I've got to feed him. Oh no, but I was supposed to drop him down the hole. Now I've really got to hurry. Um, so is that just a hole down there? Yep. Well, I already botched it up anyway, so... <laughs> Alright, so I start with 50 seconds, so it's kind of comfortable. I don't even have to bother with the power-up, I suppose. If there's... Oh wait, that was probably the Yoshi. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> I'm not sure... Oh, there's a Yoshi waiting for me in here. That's better than I thought. I thought I already missed him. Okay. I think it just wants me to do Yoshi hop there. Oh, wow. That was not what I was supposed to do. Oh, okay. And I think I have to fly under there since it's a blue Yoshi. As long as he takes my power up, that's fine. The question is, where do I get a shell from? Alright, we gotta go back now, and I gotta be fast. At least if I get the dragon coin, it doesn't matter if I die. Yeah. I could have easily made that if I wasn't going for the dragon coin, so I think this level is probably going to be beaten on the next attempt. Yeah, okay, so there's a Yoshi in here. You know, if I had have gotten him the first time, I would have gotten myself an extra 20 seconds, and I'm pretty sure I would have actually lived there. Ignore that one. Well, now I can't hit the block, so maybe I should have thought that through a little bit more. <laughs> Barely needed that at all this time. Yeah, if I had have grabbed the first Yoshi last time, I would have definitely made it. Well, super cool looking level. I like the idea of the cotton candy berries that the Yoshi eats. Oh, this sends me up here, too. I assumed it would send me to the ghost house, but I guess not. Curse of Discontinuity by World Peace. Oh, I bet this is going to be a really interesting gimmick of some sort. I mean, most World Peace levels are, but... Level Design 101. Do place Layer 2 objects near the leftmost screen... With an L2 Smasher, it'll allow fancy teleportation effects. Okay. I... Still don't know what we're talking about here, but... Oh. Okay. Alright, I can't go over that. So I have a feeling we're gonna get some fancy teleportation effects here. I'll probably fall through to the gray platform. Oh, L. Okay, the layer teleports back up, and I land on the gray platform. Alright, I get it now. Remote control. Press L or R to reset the layer 2 position. This only works after layer 2 has smashed down. Okay, so now it just lets me reset it. Alright, so I, I take it that in the first room, the the idea was that it was not using any ASM and it was just using a gimmick with the native Super Mario World physics, and now we're kind of doing the 
my advanced version of it. All sorts of fancy tech. Alright, send it back up. Go through here. Easy peasy. Alright, don't want to jump after... There we go. Go under the wall. There we go. Put it back up again. Every time something goes along, it's just like, okay, gotta reset the layer again. Alright, where does that go? Okay, it goes there. Alright, let's grab that power up, presumably. There's... Alright, so I, I gotta time it this time. Okay, this should be good. There we go. R. I've been using L the entire time, so it's kind of weird to be seeing an R. Pretty sure they're no different. Alright, let's just wait for that. Goodbye. It barely smashes down at all here. Oh boy, I've got to jump through that tiny gap. Nope, that wasn't quite right. Good enough. Just barely had enough iframes to go through that. Well, that didn't work. I have a feeling I don't want to go up on top of the layer. I can't scroll the screen, though. Yeah, let's just try it. Okay, it's fine. Okay, I've got to absolutely maximize my time here. <laughs> that doesn't affect me much, I suppose. Oh. Okay, this is definitely scary. It's telling me A. I don't know why. It looks like it's easier to normal jump into that thing. Let's see if I can get him out of there. Yeah, there we go. Dang it. Alright, let's time it correctly this time. There we go. Now I'm kind of getting it. Release the enemies and then... Oh. Let me guess. I need to get in there for a key. We put the potobo back in there. Nope, that wasn't quite it. <laughs> there we go. Finally made it through there without losing power up in a stupid way. Just move a little bit to the right there. So I've got a little bit more time. Little bomb chain guy. Oh, I can do the first one before. Before. There we go. Hmm. You know what? We could just tank a hit through here. Why not do that? Ah, that wasn't even the way to get the key. I just assumed it was, but... Assuming the key is in there. Oh, this is some sort of puzzle. I mean, that much was obvious. But how do I get the shell? Oh, I've got to respawn this guy. Did he walk off screen? There we go. Now they're on the same layer. And now I won't just drop him off the bottom of the screen. Now we can get a disco, and this presumably creates a key, and I just enter the clock. And I'm assuming the one-up mushroom just brings me back to this point, because I doubt World Peace would just make me play the entire level again, especially a level like this one. Yeah, there it is. Oh, well, you know, I, I could have used that, instead of just being a big dummy. Whoa, okay. Are these layers I can control still? We probably want the potopo to be high. Alright. Alright, I wasn't really sure how to make use of that. Alright, just go down and... Alright, where were the platforms before? 
Okay, that worked. That was pretty safe, actually. Okay, so this is what we have to work with. Go up here, go down here. Got some ears to dodge. Um, I guess just reset the layer again. I wonder if there's something up there, but I'm not gonna bother at this point. Whoa, that's actually kind of dangerous. I didn't even realize it at first, but if I hadn't made it through that hole, I would have been very dead. Oh. Okay. This is uh, basically just a puzzle boss. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm actually in any danger here. So just let the shell go down there, go back over here. I'm wondering if it's going to make it more difficult, though. Oh, okay, we're going to be doing different rooms. I was thinking, he can't just expect me to do this six times. <laughs> there would be the fun in that. Alright, now he's just sideways. This just drops the shell down, which doesn't help me much. Oh, well, I just gotta bop it back up again. Alright, that strategy was much better. There was no reason to time hitting the block with... Oh, the real battle starts now, are you ready? Okay. This is no longer puzzle boss territory. Okay, this boot laser will follow me. Oh gosh, this is actually pretty scary. Oh yeah, right, I can reset the layers. I have the power. <laughs> okay, we just gotta keep running back and forth. I figured that, that out just in time. <laughs> That's another two exits down. Actually, quite a few exits cleared today, which is pretty nice. And this brings me down to the water. So I'm wondering if maybe this way takes me to the blue switch. Anyways, see you next time.